Obviously, most of that's taken up with the operating system and Macs. And uh, obviously, you can see the processors running here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop this up here. Uh, change the shape of it a bit so it doesn't take up quite as much screen space. And I'm going to make sure it's always on top. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to press play on this cache. And uh, if you watch these values here, watch the current frame value, watch the total value, and also watch the memory usage here. There we go. So you can see the current frame value is increasing as the number of particles uh, appear in the scene. You can see the total is creeping up. And if you actually look here at the, the, the physical memory usage, you can see that that's actually going up as well. And you can see it's going up in quite big jumps, you know. Uh, 859 megabytes, 8, 889, 936, 975, and uh, it's gone up to 997, there we are, 0.9 of a gigabyte, and it's peaked out there, and that's it. So you can see with all these particles that we're using at, a moment, at the moment, we're using um, 0.9 of a gigabyte, and that's, that's quite happily cached in RAM. Um, I'll just stop that, scrub it back and forth. You can see the memory usage basically stays steady. That's because you know we're not uh, creating or modi or any more particles, so that's that's pretty much going to be static from now on. What I'll do now is I'll go to uh, clear, and you can see immediately that drops back down to 581. So you can see it's actually dumped that that cache out of memory. It's um, an important thing to remember with the uh, cache operator that um, it has a scope just like all other um, operators have, and uh, as you can see, I'm using it here in the uh, in the source um, event and you know the source event is is a global event and obviously every any operators that you pop in here as we discussed in uh, dvd one in the series has an effect on all the actual um, events that flow from it so what i'm doing by placing the cache in the global uh, event is i'm saying to particle flow i want you to cache all of the particles that flow on from this so obviously it's caching the entire simulation now in this example file we actually have multiple uh, flows as you can see here and uh, if you wanted to uh, cache those you'd have to have a cache operator for every one you can't just place one cache operator in one flow and expect that to cache all the other flows in your scene so that's that's also something to remember you know you have individual caches for each flow you can if you want to take the cache and place it in one of the local events and it will then actually only cache the particles that actually come into that event um, obviously that uh, gives you um, a little bit more flexibility and in certain c circumstances that may be uh, what you actually want. So let's have a look at the, uh, the parameters up here. We'll quickly run through these. The, the first parameter is use at and uh, what this actually does is um, the cache can be made uh, to work in the viewport. Um, it can also be made to work at render time. So in other words it's storing uh, the simulation as seen in the viewport or at render time or you can do both. So you can see you've got these options here. Uh, cache the viewport simulation, cache the, rend cache the render time simulation, or cache both. The next option is uh, update. Uh, actually, before we um, we go through update, um, something to note about uh, the, uh, the use add value is that um, when you pick the viewport and the render option, you should make sure that your viewport and render time multipliers use the same value. Um, otherwise, you can get un unpredictable results I've found in the past. So that, that's something uh, I would probably do uh, generally. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, up parameter, update parameter. Um, you have the option here of using um, an automatic update or when the update button is pressed. Um, generally, it's better to use the automatic option as this ensures that your cache holds up to uh, date data, at all times and uh, although it can be a little slower to use as the cache will update itself uh, to the frame you're on if you change any parameter on any operator within its scope so that's something to remember when you're working with a cache if you move to up to frame 70 and then you uh, go into one of the events and you change a parameter the cache operator with automatic um, with um, always on um, will recalculate all of the um, simulation up to that point and that's because it has to because um, one of the parameters has changed and therefore the simulation is going to change if you don't want to have that uh, uh, kind of slowdown change it to um, manual and use the update button here the next parameter is range and you can see you've got three options you can use complete 